F-Zero has had an interesting life so far, and throughout everything it has always had a strong overall feeling of cool. It started as a launch game on the Super Nintendo in the early 1990s and thus appealed to what people thought was cool at the time, that being buff dudes driving futuristic hover cars and death races. But that kind of idea was not unique at the time. There were plenty of games and even movies and TV shows that had that sort of attitude during the 90s. But what makes F-Zero so different in this case is that well into the early 2000s when everything else of that nature died off, F-Zero was still going stronger than ever partly because it had become self-aware of what it was. The release of F-Zero GX on the GameCube in 2003 fully embraced this insane concept of people and creatures from all over the galaxy coming together to participate in death races. However, it wasn't until later that year where this idea was not only fully embraced, but also explored further with the anime F-Zero Falcon Densetsu, or F-Zero GP Legend as it's known in the West. Straight out of the gate, the F-Zero anime is super clear of what it wants to be and what it wants its tone to be, cool and retro. The animation and art style give it a cool 90s anime kind of feel, and as I've just talked about, a lot of media including anime from that era had a cool stylistic tone to it. But that kind of feeling in a show is really interesting here because of the fact that its 90s tone was done purposefully because it's F-Zero and the whole appeal of F-Zero is its 90s cool feeling. Something I think worth noting at this point is that the cool I'm talking about in this video is the manly kind of cool. The whole big strong man saving a damsel in distress kind of cool that was popular in the 90s. However, as F-Zero was continuing past this era, it became more self-aware of these themes and treated them with more tongue-in-cheek. The anime in particular goes out of its way to even subvert these themes like putting a twist on the damsel in distress storyline and other things of that nature. Speaking of the storyline, that too helps add to the 90s cool feeling the show has. The story follows Ryu Suzaku after he gets into an accident and wakes up 150 years in the future to join an organization of race car drivers who enter races to stop criminals from getting prize money. This setup is amazing, not just because it combines two already cool things, race car drivers and crime fighters, but it allows pretty much every conflict in the show to be solved by driving very fast, which is the entire point of the F-Zero video games. Also, having the newbie of Ryu in there lets the show introduce and explain new ideas and concepts in the universe of the show in a natural way. The idea of Ryu being the main character is another thing I really like about this series, regardless of the fact that a lot of people dislike that aspect of the show. One of the most common complaints I hear of this anime are things like, This is an F-Zero anime! Why isn't Captain Falcon the main character? Or, This show doesn't have enough Captain Falcon in it! And so on. Here's the thing though, Captain Falcon is a good character because he is cool, mysterious, and a badass. So making him the main character of a show would only go one of two ways. Either they keep Captain Falcon as a badass and just let him do his thing the whole time, which would for sure get boring at some point before the end of 51 episodes, or try to make him more of a character by giving him flaws and weaknesses, and doing that would go against who Captain Falcon is supposed to be. Captain Falcon is the epitome of cool. Even in the crossover fighting game Super Smash Brothers, he has some of the most stylish combos and moves in the game. By stripping all of this away from him, he wouldn't be Captain Falcon anymore. The main reason that cool and mysterious characters are cool is because you have to fill in the blanks of the characters for yourself. So even if they gave Captain Falcon a complex personality that doesn't suck, that personality still wouldn't be as good as whatever kind of image you have in your head. So this is where Ryu Suzaku comes into play. For most of the story, Ryu is just this random kid out of nowhere that doesn't know anything and still has a lot to learn. With Ryu filling the interesting main character role, this allows Captain Falcon to do what he does best, being a badass. Another benefit of Captain Falcon not appearing too often is that the scenes where he does show up are that much more impactful. Captain Falcon being on screen never becomes expected and mundane, it's always exciting and fun. Quick side note on the topic of Smash Brothers, this anime is actually one of the few things to directly reference Smash Brothers with the appearance of the legendary Falcon Punch. Which is cool, not just because it's the Falcon Punch and the Falcon Punch is awesome, but also because it was Captain Falcon's portrayal in Smash Brothers where he first had his distinctive cool guy personality that he would later take on in future F-Zero things. So it's cool how the anime repaid the favor by having an homage to the series with the Falcon Punch. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. Another thing I like about Ryu Suzaku and Captain Falcon's relationship is that Captain Falcon gives Ryu a goal and motivation throughout the story. As I have said before, Ryu starts out knowing nothing and overall being kind of a wimp. But as soon as he sees that awe-inspiring F-Zero racer, he knows that is his goal. This is great for two reasons. First, it gives the main character a solid goal to work towards during the series. I believe this is really important in storytelling because it stops the story from feeling aimless and boring. Having a goal also helps communicate what the series' theme is. In this instance, that theme is self-improvement, or growing up as the lyrics of the ending song state. Which brings me to the second reason why I like Ryu's goal. It's relatable. Ryu wants to become as cool and as good of an F-Zero racer as Captain Falcon. 
okay, maybe the whole F-Zero racer part is not as relatable, but who doesn't want to become as cool as Captain Falcon? Captain Falcon as a character naturally inspires greatness, so a story about someone trying to be like him is a natural fit for an F-Zero anime. So whether it's the visuals, characters, or themes of this show, F-Zero Falcon Densetsu does everything in its power to perfectly exemplify the feeling of cool. Which is perfect, seeing as it's the anime version of a game series that also conveys that same feeling. One last thing before I go, seeing as the series is well nigh impossible to watch officially, in the description I'm going to link a YouTube playlist of all the episodes in pretty good quality. Obviously, if this anime is ever re-released, that would be the preferred way to watch it, but for the moment, this is all we got. Anyway, I hope you thought this video was cool, and if you like my content, check out my other videos and channels for more of it. See you all next time! Bye!